global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, good people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. Uh, Fanny Coyote is back in the news. In 2016, the, the EFCC had arraigned uh, him, uh, who was a member of uh, the former president, Good Luck Jonathan presidential campaign team, alongside Nenadi Usman, a former minister of state for finance, on a 17-count charge bordering on alleged money laundering and diversion of 4.9 billion naira. And the case has made tremendous progress as more um, discoveries are coming in about what Femi Fani Kayode actually did, you know, especially as it has to do with transference of money from Nigerian government owned bank to his own account and all of that. We're going to be looking at all of that in a jiffy and also the fight against corruption in Nigeria. But before we do all of that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do well to hit on that red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, an investigating officer of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, Shehu Shwaibo, has narrated how the sum of 1.5 billion naira was fraudulently transferred from the Ministry of External Affairs account to Joint Trust Dimension Nigerian Limited account, allegedly belonging to former Aviation Minister Femi Fani Kayode. In 2016, the anti-craft agency arraigned Femi Fani Kayode, member of former President Good Luck Jonathan presidential campaign team, alongside Nenadi Usman, a former Minister of State, for finance on a 17-count charge bordering on alleged money laundering and diversion of 4.9 billion naira. That's a huge one. Led in evidence by the EFCC prosecutor, Rutumi Oyedigbo, as the trial continued on Friday, the witness stated that his team from the Special Tax Force of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission was assigned to investigate a petition which led alleged that the total sum of 1.5 billion naira was fraudulently transferred from Ministry of External Affairs account to Joint Trust Dimension Nigerian Limited account and the number clearly stated which is resident in the Zenith Bank. Now, he went further to say that we com commence investigation immediately and wrote a letter to in related investigation activity to Zenith Bank requesting for a statement of account of joint trust and all the transactions in the account. We received the response and analyzed them. Our findings revealed that on January 8, 13 and 16, 2015, the sum of 300 million naira, 400 million naira and 800 million naira respectively were transferred from Ministry of External Affairs Research Project Account and Ministry of External Affairs Research Capital Account, respectively, into Joint Trust Dimension Nigeria Limited Account. The witness further said that these monies were moved into Femi Fani Kayode's company account, which is Joint Trust Dimension Nigeria Limited with Zenith Bank. He stated that between February 20 to the end of March 2015, the second defendant withdrew 200 million naira cash, and between March 20 and 20 feet, he withdrew another sum of about 250 million naira. According to the witness, on February 12, one Olubode, now at last, made a cash payment of the sum of 24 million naira to a company. Pest poster at number 125 Le Lewis Street, Lagos, and also on February 12, made an additional cash payment of the sum of 60 million naira to the same company. Justice Siago adjoined further on the matter until March 20 feet. Quite interesting here, I'm telling you. I mean, a lot of things are opening up, though we've not really heard the vision of the person of, um, you know, 
uh, Femi Fali Kayode. But, you know, expectation was really high. That's based on uh, political analysts. They had said that when Femi Fali Kayode crossed carpet from PDP to APC, the, the, the same party is one not to be part of, that a lot of things will change. Some people say that it's because of even that case that made him to move to, you know, a, to APC so that a lot of those things can be covered up. But uh, shockingly, EFCC seems not to, you know, let the case die. They are still fighting the corruption case, which for me, it's a good move by them because um, we should come to a point in the country whereby people will not do things. And because of party affiliation, you know, they walk away free of any form of corruption charges. We do not really know much about what fun for me, Fanny Kayode use all of that money to do. But um, uh, maybe in subsequent news, we are going to give you full details of that but the truth of the matter is ever since Femi Fanikaya they moved to APC it has not been easy fairly recently we heard about a subcommittee which he was supposed to be a part of a subcommittee you understand he was supposed to be a part of that committee uh, in preparation for APC you know forthcoming convention but uh, after everything was rearranged Femi Fanny Kayode's name was removed from the subcommittee and also we heard that there was some, some appointment that was supposed to be given to him and all of that it's been quite a tough one for him and now in this case coming up I am just wondering how he is really handling these things it's, it's not easy on the young man you're going to hear what Nigerians have to say about the issue of Femi Fani Kayode. And someone here says Femi Fani Kayode moved to APC hoping that things would change for the better. But Buhari has shocked him a great deal. Another person here says Buhari knew they tolerate corruption. That is why Femi Fani Kayode's move to APC will not change anything. Another person replied the person say, Who told you that he doesn't tolerate corruption? How about the case of the minister of Niger Delta? Mm, that's talking about the former governor of Akwaibom State, who is currently the Niger Delta uh, you know, minister. There were a lot of issues also. Uh, the case of financial, I think, um, money laundering or I think misappropriation of funds also uh, against him. But um, for that one, it has really calmed down. Another person here say. Don't tell me that Buhari does not tolerate corruption. Despite all that has been done towards fighting Tinibu in respect to the bullion van issue, what has happened? These people, they fight the people they want to fight. Another person here says, this issue is long overdue. Why are they dragging it up and down? Someone responded, Femi Fani Kayode has never been available. It has always been whether he is sick or so. Hmm. So many people are talking here. Another person here says this issue of fight against corruption must not be ignicity igni driven. Hmm. Must not be ignicity driven. If they are fighting corruption, all those who are in the list of EFCC should be brought in timely for them to handle their cases. Another person here says. Femi Fani Kayode don't enter Ram. They are going to teach him a lesson of his lifetime. So many responses, but would like to leave you there. Go to our comment section.